already with that crazy slot machine. You've been at it for half an hour. I tell you, it's going to pay off on that jackpot right now. Hey, where'd you get that guarantee? This Club 77 is a chip joint. Not so loud. I'm only going to play it once more anyway. Uh, Here it goes. We're wasting your money. Okay, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, one hey, the jackpot. Hey, hey, look at that. Hey, look, two bells. This is going to be it. Oh. Give me your head, quick. Yeah. Here, here, here. Three bells. The jackpot. Come to Papa. You put it in look the jackpot. That. Hey, what is this? Why don't the jackpot come out? There is no jackpot, sucker. Just a little hunk of metal. Yeah, well, wait till you hear what I'm going to do about that. Just wait till I... All right, all right. What's your trouble, my friend? I've been robbed. I want to see the boss of this Club 77. You were looking at him. Yeah? I'm Archie Grant. What's your beast? I hit the jackpot. Yeah, he did. yourself. And all that came out was this hunk of metal. I don't want this disc. I want the jackpot. Now, take it easy, my friend. I'm going to get the jackpot. There was only about $50 in the jackpot. With that metal tag that came out, I'm going to give you $1,000. You're sure it's pure, and it's just as smooth. Yes, you're sure it's pure. CV's clear, clean taste tells you that and more. From your first sip of the smooth, creamy foam that billows on top of your glass, right down to that last delicious, full-flavored drop, you'll find CV bright and sparkling, light and lively, with the rich, robust, and full-bodied flavor of a real honest-to-goodness beer. A premium quality beer. Premium quality that costs you no premium in price. Our enthusiastic friend, whose voice you just heard, has a special message for those who are not familiar with the beer with the million-dollar flavor. Just listen. Try it. Just try CV, and you'll agree there is no finer beer. You're sure it's pure, and it's just as smooth. Yes, sir, just as smooth. New. But now on to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie, enemy to those who make him an enemy, friend to those who have no friends. So you're not coming down to headquarters, Blackie? No, Faraday. It's too nice a day to sit in your office and watch you do nothing. Mm, you just present the competition, that's all. <laughs> Blackie, I've been trying to figure out how I can get a guy to commit a murder. What's the matter? Business so bad you have to manufacture a couple of corpses? Uh, just one. Oh, really? I was just wishing somebody would get their hands on Archie Grant so he wouldn't be sitting so comfortably behind the walls of his Club 77. So you want somebody to kill him just so you can bust the slot machine, right? Oh, for him to kill somebody so I could grab him. Whom would you like him to knock off, Faraday, as if I didn't know? Well, Blackie, you said you weren't doing anything today. I'm sure you wouldn't mind playing dead indefinitely. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, that way I'd get rid of two pains in the neck at the same time. <laughs> Friday. Yeah, what? You're going to regret having said that. Huh? I'm going to sue you for slander. Well, go ahead, Sue. you got to prove I said it. <laughs> okay, listen. Mm-hmm. No, Friday. It's too nice a day to sit in your office and watch you do nothing. You just resent the competition, that's all. What is that? Blackie, I've been trying to figure out how I can get a guy to commit a murder. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, Faraday... Blackie, what did you do? I recorded this old conversation on a new machine I bought. Oh, fine. Off the record, Faraday, I've got you wanting somebody to commit murder on the record. <laughs> Danny, honey, you scared me half out of my wits jumping out from that alley. What'd you want to do that for? Come over here in the alley with me. What's the matter, Danny, honey? Archie Grant's got one of his men following me. He's been watching me, too, at his club. Yeah, didn't figure he'd do that. You know, Archie doesn't believe my story about being held up for that collection money? Danny, I'm scared. Well, if you're so scared, Cindy, why'd you go into the Club 77? Well, my gracious, you can't expect a body to wait around all night just for a phone call. I've got to have some excitement. Mm-hmm. Cindy, baby, I think you're pulling a double cross. Let's have it. <laughs> Let's have it. 
have what? Come on, baby, the key tag for the subway lock. I don't have it. You what? I gave it to you. Now, don't holler, Danny. I had it, but I don't have it anymore. Cut the double talk. Where is it? Danny, stop twisting my arm. You're hurting me. I'll kill you. Danny! Where is it? I had it with me when I went into the Club 77. Yeah? But when Archie Grant started to come over toward me, I was afraid he'd find it on me. So? So I put it in the slot machine. Well, you crazy dumb dick. Well, it's safe, Danny. Nobody ever hits the jackpot on that machine. Look, baby, I need that key tag to open the locker, but I'm going to try to get Boston Blackie to open it without the tag. And if I can't, I'm coming back to you for it. And you'd better be able to get it. Oh, I'll get it, for sure. Just a hint, baby. If you don't get it for sure, I'll get you. That's for sure. That will provide some excitement. Yes? Uh, Blackie? You called my number, didn't you, Inspector? Who'd you expect to answer? Little Bo Peep? Shut up and listen. I want that recording you made of my voice. Oh, it's just a ham and you're coming out after all these years. So sorry, Inspector, I'm saving it. As a matter of fact, I get a big kick out of playing it. You got a big kick coming, Blackie, from me. When will I see you? The last time I spoke to you was Archie Grant you wanted to see. Uh... Inspector, you're so curious. Okay, Blackie, keep the record. And your remarks to yourself. And as far as Grant is concerned, I'm going to bust his slot machine racket, his slot machines, and him. <laughs> How's it coming, Chuck? Ah, uh, slow, Harry. I still got a couple of bugs tying out in this machine. Yeah. Boss asking for it? No, no, Archie hasn't come in yet. He's late. Hey, the boss hasn't been late in five years. That's right. Sums up. Eh, I think he's a little worried about Danny Jackson. Well, wait, wait, wait till I turn this thing off. Wait a second. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, uh, hey uh, you think the boss doesn't believe that story about Danny being held up? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. But I do know that nobody'd ever walk in here on a holdup. Nobody could get up here from the club downstairs without us wanting him. Well, that's what I said. Sure. So if anybody did want to pull a hold-up, wouldn't he figure one of Archie's collection men for a soft touch? Yeah, but I think Danny figures Archie for soft in the head. Oh, could be. <laughs> hey, here's the boys now. Uh-oh. Good morning, Archie. Harry, are those six machines ready for delivery? Yeah, in about an hour. Yeah? Chuck over there is filing down some of the notches. He's still paying off the jackpot. Which uh, reminds me, my friend, you and Chuck come into my office. Right. In a second. And have Tommy wheel in a breakfast tray. I'm hungry. Right. I'll be waiting. I've got to figure yeah, out... Uh... Wonder. Come in. Oh, you said you wanted to see Harry and me, boss. Yes. Come in, Chuck, my friend. Okay, boss. And uh, you too, Harry. <laughs> Tommy is coming right up with that breakfast tray. Good boy. Now, Chuck, my friend. Yes, sir. I've got something for you. Hey. hey! Hey, hey, what's that for? For last night. And this is for the next time, if any. Come hey. on, get up from the floor. Hey, Chuck, my you... friend. <laughs> Archie, what's the idea? The hey. idea, Harry, is that one of the machines in the club downstairs paid off in the jackpot last night. It was your machine, Chuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, see that it doesn't happen again. Or you won't be anybody's friend anymore, my friend. Oh, officer, why don't you do nothing? You just resent the competition, that's all. <laughs> Blackie, I've been trying to figure out how I can get a gun. <laughs> just a minute. Hello, Blackie. Danny Jackson. What are you doing up here? Looking for you. I'm not interrupting anything? No, I'm alone. I, I uh, heard you talking to somebody. I wasn't talking to anybody. You heard my recording machine. What's the matter? What? You need some kind of help? No, but you do. Come again? This right hand in my pocket isn't holding on to my money. I don't get it. You will, if you don't do what I tell you. Just what is that supposed to mean? Blackie, if you don't do exactly like I say, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> What's going on now? Inspector Perry, 
Friday. Yeah? What's the big idea of breaking into my office? I told that policeman out front that they're trying to assassinate me, and he won't listen. Mm -hmm. You'll protect me, won't you, Inspector? Uh, Just a minute, Miss... My name is Cinderella Beauregard. Oh, Miss Beauregard... Who's going to assassinate you? Uh, Danny Jackson and Archie Grant. Archie? You've got to stop them. Hold it. Archie Grant of the Club 77? That's right. You know him? Yeah, I also know Boston Blackie. Now, go back and tell Blackie it won't work. It's a rib, I know. Inspector, you're crazy. I tell you, they're going to kill me, and you don't understand a word I'm saying. Don't you care? Yeah, sure I care, Miss Beauregard. Well, listen... Uh, uh, now, you just leave your name and address with the sergeant at the desk. Uh, we'd get in touch with you, huh? All right. But if you don't get in touch with me before Danny and Archie do, it'll be too late. Well, how are things going, Harry, my friend? Oh, great, Archie. Good. Those six machines are on their way. Good boy. <laughs> Any trouble with Chuck? Nah, nah. He got over that sock in the door fast enough. Yeah. Look at him over at that machine. Well, he won't make that mistake again. <laughs> Customer winning a jackpot. It's Bad for business. Ed, talking about bad business, this guy Feld is starting to act up. Give me a fill in, Harry. Who is Feld? Uh, he owns that stationery store. Yeah? You know, opposite the school. We have three machines in there. What's his complaint? <laughs> he wants those machines out. Aren't they doing any business? Yeah, they're a gold mine. School kids, mothers with the baby carriages. They're all in there. And what's the trouble? I think this guy Feld just doesn't like the idea of slot machines. And uh, you haven't been able to convince him of the error of his ways? He says, he says he wants to talk to the boss. Yeah. Well, we shan't disappoint him. Shall we, Harry, my friend? <laughs> oh, what a bore. Where are we going here? Okay, Blackie, down these stairs. Oh, a subway. Yeah, a subway. Some of you are taking me for a ride. You're riding no place, Blackie. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Don't try to get any help from that subway, guy. Just keep walking. When I'm ready to take you, Danny, I won't need any help. Stand to your left and walk. It's a wall I'm walking into. Yeah. Lined with deposit box. I can see them. Okay, right in front of box 54. What do I do now? Open it. Give me the key. If I had the key, I wouldn't need you. What do you want me to do? Come on, stop stalling, Blackie. You don't need a key to open it. You can open anything. So open box 54 or else. I have a choice? Yeah. If you don't open it, I open you with a 38 slug. Step back and give me a little room. What's supposed to be in this treasure chest? 25,000 bucks. Never mind the questions. Just open it. Take your time. say was in here? 25,000 bucks. Look for yourself, Danny. Your treasure chest is treasureless. It's empty. Light and lively, you bet. Bright and sparkling, yes, sir. And it's just as smooth. Now, there's a description of C.V.'s flavor that should make you want to pour yourself a glass of champagne velvet right now. When you do, you'll find your taste tempted by the creamy, snow-white foam that billows on top of your glass. And you'll see C.V.'s purity in its pale, clear amber color, a promise of real thirst satisfaction. But don't just look. Taste it. You'll find it, as our enthusiastic friend says, bright and Sparkling from foam to finish with a clear, clean taste that makes you sure it's pure. A premium quality beer made with more costly premium quality materials, premium quality that costs you no premium in price. Remember, you're sure it's pure and it's just as smooth. And now, back to Boston Blackie. Danny Jackson, collection man in a slot machine racket, double-crossed his boss and owner of the Club 77, Archie Grant, and tells him he was held up and robbed of $25,000 in collection money. Danny hides the money in a subway locker and gives the tag to his girlfriend, Cindy. However, Cindy visits the Club 77, and when Archie Grant approaches her, 
she drops the tag in a slot machine. Danny forces Blackie at gunpoint to pick open the subway locker, and they find the $25,000 gone. As we return to our story, Archie Grant and his chief assistant, Harry, are on their way to visit one of their slot machines. Hey, Archie. What is it, Harry? What are we going to do about Danny Jackson? You got the money from the locker, but he still crossed you. Harry, my friend, as soon as we take care of this business, I'll take care of Jackson. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah. Hey, we're coming to 78th Street. You can see the school. Uh, where is this guy, Feld? He has this door opposite the school. That's on me. <laughs> there it is. All right, Harry, my friend. Let's go in. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Feld. <laughs> I told my boys you wanted to take the slot machines out. That's right. I'm afraid, my friend, we're not taking those machines out. No. This is too good a location. If you don't take these machines out of here, I'll break them. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. No? Well, watch this. Grab him, Harry. He's got a hammer. Grab him. Put that down. There. Yeah, let me go. Oh, drop that hammer, Mr. Feld. Let me go. You shouldn't have done that, my friend. Let me go. You'll we'll have to deduct the cost of those machines from your take. There's not going to be any take. I'm going to the police. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that, my friend. No. 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 <laughs> you know, boys, I agree with you. Yeah. Our friend, Mr. Feld, shouldn't have said that. Come on, come on. Be right with you. Why, Danny, honey, come in. What's the matter, Danny? Don't you love me? Uh, oh. Oh. What are you hitting me for? Being such a crazy, stupid dame. You've got no reason to talk to me like that. i got no reason to talk to you at all. I should kill you. What are you talking about now? What'd you do with the money? I didn't do nothing with the money. It wasn't in the locker. What? Yeah, what? Boston Blackie opened the locker for me a half hour ago. It was empty. What did you do with the money? Now, stop acting so crazy, Danny. I don't have the money. You what? Maybe Archie has it. Maybe he told me to put the tag in the slot machine. Nobody knew where the metal tag fit except you and me, and I didn't tell anybody. Now, wait a minute, Danny. Don't hit me. You yourself said that Archie had somebody following you. Maybe he saw you put that money into the box. Maybe yes, maybe no. No maybe about Archie being after me. Well, don't take it out on Cynthia, me. Cynthia, I'm going to hold up. I'm scared. Hey, uh, Inspector Faraday. Hey, yeah, Matthews. This guy fell. Must put up some fight for the guy. You figure that out by these yourself. These glass counters broken to bits. Mm, I yeah. see them. Yeah, well, you look at these slot machines, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Faraday. Oh, no. What's going on? As if you'd know. How'd you know I was here, Blackie? I asked for you at headquarters, and he told me you were down here investigating a murder, so I came over to solve it for you. You did. Hello, Matthews. What's happened? Oh, hello, Blackie. The owner of the store, a guy named Feld, dead, shot. Look, I don't need your help, Blackie. Is that so? I'm going to tie this murder to Archie Grant. Because of these broken slot machines? Well, it gives me an excuse to get them down to headquarters. That's a little on the fantastic side, Faraday. No more fantastic than you're sending that dame with a phony southern drawl over to my office for the story that Archie Grant or Danny Jackson were going to kill her. Danny Jackson? Yeah, not Johnson. Faraday, this is no gag. I never sent that girl at all. On the level, Blackie? On the level. You... In fact, Danny Jackson got me to open a subway locker for him a while ago, but... I know where he lives in Faraday. This whole thing is beginning to make sense. Well, sure, Archie Grant killed the storekeeper fell. I'm not talking about that. What? Now, listen. Yeah? Jackson is one of Grant's collection men. Yeah. Suppose he tried to double-cross Grant out of one of the collections, say, $25,000. Keep talking. He couldn't keep this money on him, so he hides it in the subway locker. Yeah. Gives the key to his girlfriend who loses it or stashes it or double-crosses him. Yeah. He gets me to open the box, and the money is missing. It makes sense. If you agree with me, something must be wrong. I'll... But I tell you what I'm going to do, Faraday. What's that? First, I'll get Danny Jackson, and then I'm going to get to Grant. You won't even be able to get near him. He's at the Club 77, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I'll get to him. Blackie, Grant is surrounded by a whole army of hoods. He's surrounded like the mint. Well, there's a hole in some mint, you know, Faraday. What? And I'm going to find this one. Danny, you going to open up, or do I have to break the door down? I know you're in there. 
much better. Blackie. Inside. You ain't sore about me throwing a gun on you? Forget about the past. I'm interested in the future, if you have one. What do you, what do you mean? Archie Grant is looking for you, isn't he? Yeah. He didn't like you double-crossing him out of that dough, did he? You're not going to tell him where I am? I found you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. What'll I do, Blackie? Just when I tell you to. Yeah. You're going up to see Archie Grant at his club. Well, you're crazy. You'll kill me, Blackie. Don't be afraid. I'll be there. You, you'll be there? That's a laugh. You, you couldn't get up there in a million years. I'll be up there in an hour, and so will you. No, I'm not gone. I'll try to convince you that you should. <laughs> All right. Now, get up. And listen as if your life depended on it, because it does. Yeah. You're to try to see Grant in one hour from now. Yeah. I'll be there, too. But first, I have a stop to make. When you get to the Club 77, here's what you do. Matthews, where's, where's the lab report on the Feld murder? I just got it, Inspector. Here it is. It sure took him long enough. Yeah, it sure did. 138 through the right lung, 138 through the heart. Death instantaneous. Hmm, sure was. Slight bruise on forearm made before death, indicating struggle. Bruise, struggle. Nothing I didn't know before. Well, here's a report on fingerprints. Uh, does it have the same kind of no information? I think you'd better read it, Inspector. All right. Feld's fingerprints were found on the handle of the hammer lying near his body. That's right. And glass dust particles were found embedded in the hammerhead. Yeah, well, don't you get it, Inspector? I sure do, Matthews. Felt was trying to break those slot machines when somebody tried to stop him. Somebody named Archie Grant. All right, do we go after him? We can't. We Why don't not? have the proof. Well, what about Blackie? Didn't he say something about getting the proof? He's always saying something. Well, how does he plan to get into the Club 77? Yeah, he didn't tell me. But I'm going to meet him there and find out for myself. Where's that food? Hey, Harry. This is Archie. Where's my food tray? Hey, the kitchen said a table is on the way up. Well, it isn't here yet. It should be there any minute. Well, hurry it up. Holy jump, it's your host of that. Hold the phone a sec, Archie. Yes? Hello, chum. What brings you here? Boston? Say, Archie, a friend of yours is down here to see you. Well? Danny Jackson. Danny? Yeah. Well, bring him up. I'll be in the office. Yes, come in. It's about time you got here with the food. Well, wheel it over here, Tom. Okay. Hey, who are you? Hey, Frank from the kitchen. Where's Tommy? Uh, he wasn't feeling so hot, so we went home. I'm taking his place. Oh, good boy. Uh, just wheel it to the window. Right. I'm expecting some company, and I don't want him to get the idea he's invited for dinner. And he's clean, Archie. No gun on him. Good. You didn't think I'd be crazy enough to walk in here with a gun on me. Danny, my friend, you were crazy enough to try and double-cross me. You're crazy enough to do anything. <laughs> in short, my friend, you're crazy. Oh, boss, I, I really was held up. Look, boss, I want to work for you. I, I don't want to get the same treatment that this guy Feld got. Hey, what about this guy Feld? Well, it's all over town, boss. How you killed him because he was trying to get rid of those machines? I told you you shouldn't have killed Shut him. Shut up. Well, Danny... Yes, I killed Feld. Harry was there with me. Weren't you, Harry? Yeah. <laughs> Archie, what's with that gun? Oh, you know my motto, Harry. You never get a chance to double-cross me or make a mistake the second time. <laughs> what, what, what have I done? I'm getting out of here. Don't move, Denny. Harry here asked me what he's done. He yeah. just said that I killed Feld. I can't take a chance on him doing that again... Now, can I, Danny? Oh, I, Archie, oh, yeah. Archie, you're kidding. This is all a joke, ain't it? Sure, Harry. A big joke. Yeah. Now, laugh a little. <laughs> no. No! <laughs> Boss, maybe you... Now, Danny, it's your turn to laugh. What? Robert, the... Archie! Blackie, huh? Well, I can take care of you, too. Not with me in the space around. Oh! The old teamwork, Danny. Lucky, I thought you'd never get here. He was going to kill me. I suppose that's Harry on the floor next to Archie, huh? Yeah. Well, he's not dead. Hey, Faraday. Lucky, what happened? Go on in, Faraday. There are your two killers on the floor. Uh -huh. Archie Grant and Stooge Harry. Hey, look, Blackie, I could have made just as much of a mess as this with the same result. I thought you were going to get me proof. Where is it? Uh, 
Oh, our murder is coming around. Good. Was it a pleasant dream, Archie? How'd you get in here without me knowing it? Don't you recognize me, boss? I'm Frank from the kitchen. Oh, fine. Tommy wasn't feeling so hot, so we went home. Oh, okay, Blackie, so you're a great big actor. Now, where's my <laughs> proof that Archie Grant killed Feld? <laughs> right here. I've got an ear witness. E- what are you talking about? Our friend Archie has a great big appetite. He's great Always big... hungry. So I brought him up a food wagon. You brought him up a... There it is, against the wall. Go ahead, Faraday. Look at the tablecloth. Strapped on the table, you'll find something. Okay, Blackie, but it's different to... Faraday, you're looking at my recording machine, which has been turned on since Danny walked in. What, again? Play the record back, and it'll prove Archie killed Feld. Yeah, all right. When you get to the end of the record, yeah. Archie Grant will be at the end of the line. <laughs> Blackie, use that axe. Still a couple of slot machines standing. I'm keeping right up with you, Faraday. Never mind. Stop me. Uh, uh, no more uh, slot machines on this side of the room. Uh, well, I guess that winds up the slot machine racket. Faraday, just between you and me and those broken slot machines, wouldn't you say that we took Archie Grant like Grant took Richmond? <laughs> Premium quality, yes, sir. Premium price, no, sir. There is no finer beer. And it's just as smooth. And that's saying a lot in a few words. For champagne velvet is accepted everywhere as a beer of real premium quality. Here's why. Champagne velvet's famous formula calls for only the more costly premium quality materials. And CV is made the more costly way. No time saved at the expense of careful brewing. No cost saved at the expense of controlled aging. Aging that brings CV to you at the peak of its famous million-dollar flavor. But CV's flavor tells you all of that. Full-flavored thirst satisfaction, of course. But more than that, CV's clear, clean taste makes you sure it's pure. Yes, sir. Proved premium quality at no premium in price. You're sure it's pure. And it's just as smooth. Uh, Now, here's an example of what's in store for you on next week's Boston Blackie Adventure. Blackie. uh, What's the matter, Mary? Oh, you were a million miles away. (laughs) I guess I was. What's her name? The Buttercup. Poor little buttercup, oh, dear. Are you about last night's performance of Pinafore? Say, those two boys, Gilbert and Sullivan, made a great team, didn't they? <laughs> oh, you bet. I am the monarch of the sea, the ruler of the <laughs> Queen's Navy, <laughs> whose praise Great Britain loudly chants, <laughs> and so <laughs> I'm a cousin of the <laughs> Me thinks I should have been an actor. You have ham in you for a whole troop. And you're bringing home the bacon. Oh, Blackie. <laughs> Hi, Blackie. Miss Wendell. Hello, Frosty. How's my favorite newsboy? Okay. Good. I'll take my globe, please. Sure, Blackie. Here's your sentinel. Uh, Frosty, the globe. That's right, Blackie, the sentinel. What's the matter with you, Frosty? Nothing, Blackie. Here's a sentinel. Take it, will you? Hurry. You know I get the globe every day. Of course he does. Well, <laughs> Got to read the sentence. Go ahead, There's Blackie. There's something in it he's got to see. 